The story begins. Long ago, at the end of the last great ice age, a powerful queen named Juliana arose in the north. Her grand ambition was to extend her domain to all parts of the world. She gathered an army and gave birth to a son she named Necron. She taught him the black arts and the powers of the mind. When Necron came of age, he mastered his powers, which he used to seize control. From his castle called Ice Peak, he sends a giant glacier rumbling south, where no one can stand against its relentless onslaught. The remnants of humanity fled south to a fortress beyond the mountain of volcanoes named Firekeep, ruled by the generous King Jarol. Still, Necron continued to push the horrific glaciers ever southward towards Firekeep, where the battle between fire and ice continues. Necron channels his power to push the wave of glaciers toward the south, where it destroys the north village walls. Once the walls are down, he sends his army to attack the defenseless humans. Larn pretends to be dead when the village is overrun until he finds an opportunity to escape. He kills one of Necron's men, but the others become wary of him and chase him into the forest. He climbs a giant tree, hoping to escape from his pursuers, but they also climb up it. Larn is forced to jump off when he gets cornered, and the branches and vines break his fall. Having won the skirmish, the evil Queen Juliana sends envoys to the Firekeep to deliver their new demands. Necron claims that King Gerald will not submit, but Juliana insists and tells her men to give their regards to the princess, suggesting an evil scheme is in place. At the Firekeep, Tigra, the king's daughter, is displeased with being left out of the meeting with Necron's men. King Jarol and his son Taro meet with Necron's men, but are irked when Necron demands their surrender. Out of nowhere, they hear Tigra's screams from the castle's keep, and realize that the queen's envoys were a ruse to kidnap the princess. Neither her tutor nor the guardian panther stood a chance against Necron's men. Taro quickly sends his men on Dragonhawks to chase after them. Necron's men stopped by a watering hole to drink on their way to Ice Peak. Tigra seduces them with her bodily charm and tricks them into letting her into the water. She then swam underwater and escaped her captors. When they close in on her, she hides in an empty log. They almost came upon her when one of Necron's men had his arm bitten off by a giant centipede. Once they're gone, Tigra quickly escapes to the other side of the river on Driftwood. She almost gets caught when a giant Komodo dragon shows up and wipes out her pursuers. The queen is displeased when she discovers they have lost the princess and threatens to kill them if they fail to find her. Meanwhile, Larn is wandering the wasteland when he suddenly finds himself surrounded by a pack of feral wolves. He tries to fend them off when a masked hunter appears out of nowhere and saves him. He later stumbles upon some ruins and decides to stay for the night. At night, Larn notices noises from the forest and pretends to sleep to catch them red-handed, who happens to be Princess Tigra. She tries to take his meat, but when she gets caught, she leads him to a cliff where berries are growing. They quickly grew close, even sharing their food and keeping each other warm from the cold nights. The next day, Tigra sets out to return to Firekeep, and Larn asks her to take him with her. Playing around, they fall into the water when Larn is suddenly dragged underwater by a giant octopus. Tigra quickly escapes to the surface while Larn is pulled deeper underwater. He tried to break free using his dagger, but it wouldn't let him go. As he slowly blacks out, he pulls a sharp stick to poke its eye, and it ferociously tosses him back to shore. Necron's men find Tigra and recapture her. Later, Larn slowly regains consciousness, but is still too weak to move around. Dark Wolf, the mysterious masked hunter, finds him unconscious and tends to his wounds. He ties Larn to the bed, worried that he will hurt himself after being poisoned by the sea creature. Larn initially thinks he is one of Necron's men, but later discovers he has a vendetta against Necron and his mother, Juliana, the evil queen. He advises him not to go looking for death, as it will soon find them sooner or later. Once he has recovered, Dark Wolf and Larn return to the ruins to find Tigra has been recaptured by Necron's men, 
to which they follow their trail. Necron's men decided to make camp as it got darker after sunset. Later that night, all of them passed out drunk. Tigra tries to break free from her chains with a concealed dagger, but the subhuman that she is chained to wakes up to which she quickly stabs him in the gut. Realizing that she can't break the chain with the dagger, she slowly drags the dead body but accidentally falls into a cliff. Before dawn, Darkwolf and Larn find the enemy encampment. Darkwolf suggests that Larn search for Tigra while he distracts Necron's men. Using the thick fog to their advantage, Larn sneaks up behind the enemy camp to look for Tigra but can't find her anywhere. Darkwolf tries to pick them off one at a time, but there are too many of them, so he decides to run for it. Larn refuses to leave, insisting they find Tigra, but Darkwolf promises to return for her. Darkwolf suggests they lead Necron's men on a wild goose chase. They quickly lead the enemy to a cliff, and they start throwing rocks at them from above. When they get surrounded, Darkwolf pushes Larn off the cliff and tells him to find Tigra while he handles Necron's men. At Firekeep, the anxious King Gerald tells Prince Taro to go to Necron and meet his demands. Taro strongly opposes this, but Gerald claims that they have no choice, given that they hold his daughter Tigra captive. Jeral explains that no man is wholly evil and hopes there is a way to appeal to Necron in exchange for his daughter. Although hesitant, Taro rides for Ice Peak under the king's orders. Tegra regains consciousness but finds she is still chained to one of Necron's men. Out of nowhere, the giant Otwa appears before her, breaking her free. She takes her back to his master, the witch Rolil. Rolil welcomes her to her home and claims that she is safe there. Tigra is so scared of Otwa that she can barely move. Rolil reassures her that there is nothing to fear and offers her a drink to calm her down. Despite his superhuman strength, she explains how Otwa is as gentle as a child. Tigra falls asleep, suggesting that the witch Rolil put something in her drink. Rolil then pulls a strand of Tigra's hair and drops it into a cauldron to reveal her secrets. She gets furious when she discovers that Necron wants her and has endangered her home simply by being there. Realizing Tigra's worth, she sends Atwa to fetch Necron's men, hoping to curry favor with Necron by using her as a bargaining chip. Atwa returns with Necron's men, but is too late to realize that he has been stabbed in the back with a spear. When Rolail discovers what they did to her son, she ferociously charges at their leader but gets stabbed in the gut instead. With both dead, the leader of Necron's men then burned the house down and recaptured Tigra. Larn sees the smoke trail from a distance and decides to check on it, only to find the ashes of Rolay's burned hut. He accidentally knocked over Rolay's remains, who has now turned into an undead. She explains how Necron's men did this to her. He asks where they went, but she initially refuses to answer him. Promising to avenge her, she explains how they took Tigra to Akatar towards Necron's realm. Larn makes it to Akatar, but it is too late, as Juliana has already left on a boat with Tigra. He later overhears Taro's men preparing a ship headed towards Icekeep, so he sneaks on board and stows away. At Icekeep, Juliana presents Tigra before Necron and tells him she will be his bride to bear his heirs. Despite Juliana's plans, Necron refuses to marry her and explains how he does not need a bride or sons. Tigra picks himself up and tries convincing Necron to restore peace by appealing to his grand position and power. She explains that only he can bestow the gift of peace between their people. When she extends her hand in friendship, Necron suddenly bursts into laughter, claiming to spite peace and on her. Necron threatens his mother to stop scheming behind his back or he will have hell to pay for. They keep the princess captive and throw her into a pit. Before Taro's boat arrives at the shores of Ice Peak, Larn sneaks away and works his way around the mountains. While Necron's men are focused on the Firekeep's envoys, Larn sneaks inside the castle. Taro meets with Necron to negotiate peace and his sister's release, but Necron refuses. Necron then provokes him by saying he wants to mate with his sister. 
When Taro tries to attack him, Necron uses his powers to stop him where he stands and forces them to fight each other. They then disposed of their bodies in the same pit where they were holding Tigra. While still unnoticed, Larn picks up a bow and takes a shot at Necron but misses. Necron uses his powers on him, and the guards then capture Larn. Intrigued, he challenges Larn to a duel, but when Larn wounds him, he is forced to use his powers to wear him down. Tigra wakes up next to her dead brother, to which she mournfully screams in shock. She then pulls out his dagger and tries to escape. When she hears footprints, she hides behind a column and witnesses the guard take Larn to a prison cell. As she looks for a key to open his cell, one of the guards catches her. Meanwhile, Larn hides in his cell to make it look like he escaped. When the guard went to check inside, he knocked him out from behind. He wanted to look for Tigra, but was later discovered by Necron's men. He escapes outside through an aperture on the wall, but Necron summons a storm to prevent him from escaping. He later slips and falls to the ground, and his pursuers catch up to him. When Necron's men are about to attack the defenseless Larn, Dark Wolf arrives and saves him. Dark Wolf then wipes them out and returns to Firekeep. As Necron's glaciers get closer, King Jeryl plans on letting out the volcano's lava. Larn reports back to the king that Necron has killed his son and suspects that Tigra must still be alive. Dark Wolf asks the king for his dragonhawks to attack Necron. King Jeral worries that there are too few to launch a proper attack, but Dark Wolf claims they need only one of them to reach Necron to stop him. With Dark Wolf leading them, they launch an attack on Ice Peak. Necron's men see them coming and throw rocks at them. When they fly deeper into the cave, more of Necron's men shoot at them with arrows. Necron is thrilled at their brave attempt and makes debris fall on top of them. Larn escapes through a hole in the ceiling, but Crash lands in the snow. Juliana tries to hold Tigra captive, but she breaks free and helps Larn take out the guards. Dark Wolf has skillfully dodged the enemy's arrows and made it into the throne room, where Necron awaits. He confronts the Ice King, but Necron stops him with his powers. Necron struggles to keep him contained, and Dark Wolf eventually breaks free with his sheer determination alone. Dark Wolf lands a fatal blow and finishes him in front of Juliana, who screams in agony over the loss of a son. In his last moments, Necron used his powers to amplify the glaciers, to which King Jeryl ordered the release of lava. As lava sweeps through the mountain, Ice Peak collapses, burying Necron's men in its debris. Larn and Tigra escape the crumbling fortress by Dragonhawk. In the aftermath of the great battle, Larn regains consciousness and is relieved that Dark Wolf has survived and won against Necron. A subhuman survives and pleads for his life when Larn is about to attack him with a rock. Tigra convinces him otherwise, claiming that the battle is over and that it is time to start over. They walk away from him with hands on each other, to which they later share a passionate kiss by the lake. The end. Thank you for watching. Check out these other videos, and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.